Port Douglas is a town on the Coral Sea in tropical far north Queensland. Four Mile Beach is perfect for a morning walk along its firm sand. The small waves are safe for young and old. You can hire a beach chair and umbrella while others create their own shelter. Along the northern shore, a pathway takes you to Flagstaff Hill Lighthouse. The historic lighthouse was built in 1878 to guide ships through the treacherous waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Nearby is Rex Smeal Park, a family friendly place known for its large shady fig trees and ocean views. The nearby rainforests are fed by warm, moist air carried on shore, which rises, condenses on the highland, and forms clouds. The air then cools and the rain begins. The Daintree Rainforest is home to over 430 species of birds, 23 species of reptiles, 13 species of amphibians, and an array of mammals. The accessible boardwalks will lead you to discover lichens clinging to the trees, stick insects that feed on pandas palms, and many variety of spiders. There are safe swimming holes in the daintree, perfect for cooling off after a hard day's exploring. The Daintree River is located in the World Heritage listed Daintree Forest. The river is popular with tourists keen to view its wildlife, especially the crocodiles. Some days you get lucky and catch a glimpse of them on the riverbank. Port Douglas has retained many historic buildings. The Central Hotel on Macrossan Street was the first privately owned building in Port Douglas, erected in 1878. Next came the old courthouse a year later. In 1991, the disused Mossman Courthouse was moved to its new location on Mybury Street where it became a theatre called The Clink. The name reflects the building's former existence as a jail. Near Crystal Brook Marina is a restored Ballyhooley sugarcane train, which operated for 123 years and was an integral part of the industry in Port Douglas. On the water's edge and surrounded by palm trees, is the White Timber Chapel of St Mary's by the Sea, built in 1914. It is situated next to the Port Douglas Markets, held every Sunday. Macrossan Street is the centre of the action, where most of the restaurants, cafes, bars and shops are located. In this tropical climate, vibrantly coloured plants add to the beauty. Murals contribute to a fun vibe as well. The local garbage bins along the street feature aquatic designs. From Crystal Brook Super Marina, catamarans depart to the Outer Barrier Reef and the nearby Low Isles. In 1770, Captain James Cook recorded these isles as a small low island in his logbook. 
the large island is covered with mangroves, while the other is a coral cay, and was, from 1878, the home for the lighthouse keepers. There are many types of fish on the reef, and snorkeling is the best way to view them. A large variety of corals are found here, such as mushrooms, staghorn, brain, and plate coral. Here, a sea slug, called a nudie branch, clings to the coral. The lower isles is a coral cave, and a marine biologist conducts walking tours of the island. Weather data has been gathered there since 1887. Nowadays, the lighthouse is solar powered. Since 2008, the Low Isles and the Historic Lighthouse have been registered on the Commonwealth Heritage List. After a great adventure on the reef, the catamaran sails back to Port Douglas. For 29 years, people have gathered along Macrossan Street in late May for the annual Carnivale a celebration of the local community. It kicks off with a Friday night street parade. Over 10 days, it attracts not only the locals, but visitors from all over the country.